Passion Travel is a channel specializing in all things travel street food and subscribe empanadas. These savory turnovers are filled with various ingredients such as ground beef, cheese, ham, and vegetables, and they're baked or fried. Empanadas are savory turnovers that are popular not only in Argentina but throughout Latin America and Spain. These delicious pastries consist of a pastry dough that is filled with a variety of ingredients, sealed, and then baked or fried to perfection. Empanadas come in countless regional variations, each with its own unique fillings and flavors. Here's a basic recipe for making Argentine-style empanadas. Ingredients For the dough 3 cups all-purpose flour 1 half teaspoon salt 1 half cup 1 stick cold unsalted butter cut into small cubes 1 half cup cold water 1 egg for egg wash optional for the filling 1 pound ground beef or other protein of your choice 1 onion finely chopped 1 red bell pepper finely chopped 2 hard boiled eggs chopped 1 half cup green olives pitted and chopped 1 quarter cup raisins optional 2 teaspoons ground cumin 1 teaspoon paprika, salt and pepper to taste, vegetable oil, for sautéing. Instructions. For the dough, in a large mixing bowl, combine the flour and salt. Add the cold, cubed butter and use your fingers or a pastry cutter to work it into the flour until the mixture resembles coarse crumbs. Gradually add the cold water, mixing until a dough forms. Be careful not to overwork the dough. It should come together without being too sticky. Shape the dough into a ball. Wrap it in plastic wrap, and refrigerate it for at least 30 minutes while you prepare the filling. For the filling, in a skillet, heat some vegetable oil over medium heat. Add the chopped onions and bell peppers, and saute until they become soft and translucent. Add the ground beef, or protein of your choice, to the skillet and cook until it's browned and cooked through. Drain any excess fat. Stir in the chopped hard-boiled eggs, olives, raisins, if using, ground cumin, paprika, salt, and pepper. Cook for a few minutes to allow the flavors to meld. Taste and adjust the seasoning if needed. Remove from heat and let the filling cool. Choripan. A popular street food, choripan consists of a grilled chorizo sausage served in a crusty bread roll and often topped with chimichurri sauce. Choripan is a popular and beloved Argentine street food that combines two key components, chorizo, sausage, and pan, bread. This simple yet incredibly flavorful sandwich is made by grilling or cooking chorizo sausages and serving them in a crusty bread roll. It's often garnished with chimichurri sauce or other condiments. Here's how to make choripan. Ingredients. Chorizo sausages, Argentine-style chorizos, but other types can be used. Crusty bread rolls or baguettes, such as French bread. Chimichurri sauce, recipe below, or you can use store-bought. Optional toppings sliced onions, bell peppers, or lettuce. For the chimichurri sauce, 1 cup fresh parsley, finely chopped, 3 to 4 cloves garlic, minced, 2 tablespoons fresh oregano leaves, or 1 teaspoon dried oregano, 1 half teaspoon red pepper flakes, adjust to taste, 1 half cup red wine vinegar, 1 half cup extra virgin olive oil, salt and pepper to taste. Instructions. For the chimichurri sauce, in a bowl, Combine the chopped parsley, minced garlic, oregano, and red pepper flakes. Add the red wine vinegar and olive oil to the mixture, and whisk until well combined. Season the chimichurri sauce with salt and pepper to taste. Adjust the level of spiciness by adding more or fewer red pepper flakes. Allow the chimichurri sauce to sit for at least 30 minutes to allow the flavors to meld. You can also refrigerate it for several hours or overnight for even better flavor. For the choripan. Preheat your grill or stovetop griddle to medium-high heat. Place the chorizo sausages on the grill or griddle and cook them, turning occasionally, until they are browned and cooked through. This usually takes about 10 to 15 minutes. While the sausages are cooking, slice the bread rolls or baguettes in half lengthwise, leaving one edge attached, like a hot dog bun. Once the chorizo sausages are cooked, place them inside the bread rolls. Drizzle chimichurri sauce generously over the chorizo sausages. You can also add optional toppings like sliced onions, bell peppers, or lettuce. Serve your choripan hot and enjoy this flavorful Argentine street food. Choripan is a popular choice at outdoor barbecues, asados, in Argentina, but it's also a fantastic street food option. The combination of grilled, 
Juicy chorizo sausages with the zesty and herby chimichurri sauce makes it a delicious and satisfying treat. Melanesa. Similar to a breaded and fried schnitzel, melanesa is typically made from beef or chicken and served with various toppings. Melanesa is a classic Argentine dish that consists of breaded and fried meat cutlets, usually made from beef or chicken. It's similar to a schnitzel and is incredibly popular in Argentina, often served with simple accompaniments like mashed potatoes, salad, or french fries. Here's how to make melanesa. Ingredients. For beef or chicken melanesa. 4 beef or chicken cutlets, thinly sliced. Salt and black pepper, to taste. 1 cup all-purpose flour, for dredging. 2 large eggs, beaten. 2 cups breadcrumbs, preferably fresh breadcrumbs. Vegetable oil, for frying. Lemon wedges, for serving, optional. For chicken melanesa variation. Boneless, skinless chicken breasts or chicken tenders, thinly sliced. Instructions. Prepare the meat. If you're using beef, you can ask your butcher to thinly slice the meat, or you can buy pre-cut beef cutlets. If you're using chicken, slice boneless, skinless chicken breasts or chicken tenders into thin cutlets. You can also use pork or veal for variations. Season the meat. Season both sides of the meat cutlets with salt and black pepper. Dredge in flour. In three separate shallow dishes, place the flour in one, beaten eggs in another, and breadcrumbs in the third. Coat the cutlets. Dredge each meat cutlet in the flour, shaking off any excess. Dip it into the beaten eggs, ensuring it's coated. Finally, coat it evenly with breadcrumbs, pressing gently to adhere. Make sure the cutlet is well coated with breadcrumbs. Heat the oil. In a large skillet or frying pan, add enough vegetable oil to cover the bottom generously. Heat the oil over medium-high heat until it's hot but not smoking. Provoletta. Melted provolone cheese served in a skillet and often garnished with herbs and spices, served with crusty bread. Provoletta is a delightful Argentine appetizer that features melted provolone cheese typically served in a skillet or small cast iron dish. This dish is incredibly popular in Argentina, especially during gatherings and barbecues. Provoletta is often enjoyed as a warm, gooey appetizer with toasted bread or crackers for dipping. Here's how to make provoletta. Ingredients. 1 wheel of provolone cheese, approximately 8-10 ounces. 1 to 2 cloves of garlic, thinly sliced. 1 to 2 teaspoons dried oregano or dried chili flakes, optional. Olive oil, for drizzling. Sliced baguette, crackers, or crusty bread for serving. Instructions. Preheat the oven. Preheat your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit, 175 degrees Celsius. Prepare the provolone. Unwrap the wheel of provolone cheese and place it in a small cast iron skillet or an oven-proof dish. Add garlic and seasoning. Make small slits in the top of the provolone cheese and insert thin slices of garlic into the slits. Optionally, sprinkle dried oregano or chili flakes, for a bit of heat, over the top of the cheese. Drizzle with olive oil. Drizzle a bit of olive oil over the provolone cheese. This adds flavor and helps with the melting process. Bake. Place the skillet or dish with the provolone cheese in the preheated oven. Bake for about 10 to 15 minutes or until the cheese is bubbly, slightly golden brown on top, and has a gooey consistency. Serve hot. Remove the skillet or dish from the oven and serve the provoletta immediately while it's hot and gooey. Dip and enjoy. Serve the provoletta with slices of baguette, crackers, or crusty bread for dipping. Guests can use their bread to scoop up the melted cheese. Provoletta is a simple yet incredibly satisfying appetizer that's perfect for sharing with friends and family. The combination of melted provolone cheese, garlic, and optional seasonings creates a flavorful and gooey delight that's sure to be a hit at your next gathering or barbecue. Lomito. A sandwich filled with tender slices of steak, lettuce, tomato, and condiments. Lomito is a popular sandwich in various Latin American countries, particularly in Argentina, Chile, and Uruguay. While there are regional variations, the term, lomito, typically refers to a sandwich made with tender slices of beef, often marinated or seasoned, served in a bread roll or baguette. Here's a basic recipe for a classic Argentine lomito. Ingredients. 4 beefsteak fillets, such as sirloin or tenderloin, approximately 4 to 6 ounces each. Salt and black pepper, to taste. 2 cloves garlic, minced, optional. 2 tablespoons olive oil. 4 crusty bread rolls or baguettes. Lettuce leaves. Tomato slices. Sliced onions, optional. 
mayonnaise, ketchup, and mustard, for condiments. Sliced cheese, such as provolone or cheddar, optional. Instructions. Season and marinate the steak. Season the beef steak fillets generously with salt and black pepper. You can also add minced garlic for extra flavor. Allow them to marinate for at least 30 minutes at room temperature or longer in the refrigerator for more flavor. Preheat the grill or pan. Preheat a grill or grill pan over high heat. You can also use a regular skillet if you don't have access to a grill. Grill the steak. Brush the steak fillets with olive oil. Grill the steaks for about 3 to 5 minutes per side, or until they reach your desired level of doneness. Cooking times may vary depending on the thickness of the steaks and your preferred doneness. If using cheese, place a slice of cheese on each steak during the last minute of grilling, allowing it to melt. Prepare the bread rolls. While the steaks are grilling, cut the crusty bread rolls or baguettes in half lengthwise and toast them on the grill or in a toaster until they are lightly golden. Assemble the lomito. Spread mayonnaise, ketchup, and mustard on the toasted bread rolls. Place a lettuce leaf on the bottom half of each roll, followed by tomato slices and optional sliced onions. Add the grilled steak fillet, with or without cheese, on top of the vegetables. Serve hot. Close the sandwiches with the top halves of the rolls. Serve the lomito sandwiches immediately while they are hot and the cheese is melted, if used. Lomito sandwiches can be customized to your taste. Some people prefer additional toppings like fried eggs, bacon, pickles, or chimichurri sauce. It's a flavorful and satisfying meal that captures the essence of Argentine cuisine and is often enjoyed at street food vendors and casual restaurants throughout the region.